I was just hanging out this window because look at those clouds. I really wanted to get a time lapse. And as I was trying to get this dumb suction cup on the window, this little piece right here, there's a piece like this that tightens it, just fell right off. <laughs> So I'm going to go down and try to look for it, but I don't know. There it is. I think I could just use this. No, it's underneath the couch. This wasn't exactly how I was planning on spending this part of the day. There it is. That might just work. The clouds are all going to be gone by the time I get this figured out. This is what I wish I had gone, my Eagle Scout. So it looks like it's on. Watch this. Oh. Is it really on? So if it falls off... What's going to happen if it falls off? We'll see. <laughs> Jeez. Like I'm pulling at it pretty hard and it's not coming off, but I thought I pulled at it pretty hard last time. And it definitely did come off. I think I give up. Now I can't even... <laughs> this, this is dumb. So I'm on my way up the hill. Hopefully you can hear me. It's kind of windy. There's a lion walking towards me. I actually see a lot of those around town. Oh no, my battery's dying. I wasn't able to get a good charge in after that time lapse, which <laughs> oh, all the trouble I went through just to get the suction cup on the outside of the window, and then I wasn't brave enough to shut the window, so <laughs> I ended up getting a worse shot by far than if I just put it on the inside. I'm not rich enough. And I don't own enough cameras, and I'm not brave enough to put that suction cup outside the window. Anyway, so I'm just heading up the hill to uh, do some shopping with Zorka because we're gonna be having like a New Year's Eve dinner together. So we're just gonna pick up some things for that right now. It's a pretty day. So um, yeah, the elders just called a little bit ago and I guess they were getting home last night like right before 9.30 and they get to their apartment building and like the door into the apartment building is locked which apparently it is never locked and they don't have a key for it. So they tried getting hold of their landlord, couldn't, didn't know what to do so they called the mission president and uh, he just said they'd have to sleep at the church. Check out these clouds. Anyway, I guess they did not sleep very well, which uh, reminded me of the time we decided to sleep on the balcony of the Star Zagora church.
Снимаем как? Как вас снимаем? Горбо, оборни себе. So it's a little bit after four in the morning. I'm clearly not doing a better job at getting to sleep at a reasonable hour. I know today's vlog is gonna be a bit of a mess because of uh, batteries dying and trying to get dumb time lapses. While we were out shopping this afternoon, my batteries died. Then I got home around 4.30 and the sun was going down. So I tried to get a time lapse of that. That I think was, was kind of cool actually. And then I just was working mostly all evening. At some point went out to get Dooners, which was a bad idea. And then at about 10.30, got my hair cut. The lady who cuts hair downstairs works some crazy hours. She's there from like six to 10 every day. I mean, hopefully she makes decent money, but I don't know. Like a men's haircut in Bulgaria costs three lev, sometimes five lev. That's like a buck 70 or so. Yeah, so got home around 11 o'clock from getting my haircut, then went out on a run shortly after that. I still don't know what was up, but <laughs> within the span of like four minutes on a pretty short run, I had two taxis honk at me and then a police van and then a pizza delivery car. So I don't know what the deal was. Like I was running in the street, but on the side. And if you've ever been on a Bulgarian sidewalk, I think you would understand why someone would choose not to run on the sidewalk. I don't know if there's like a curfew or something, or I have no idea. Two taxis, police van, and then a pizza delivery car. So that's still a mystery to me. Then I got home from my run, took a shower, and then I've been trying to just get some work done since then. Slash have just been really like frustrated. And I don't know why exactly, and I don't know how to explain it exactly, but yeah. Sometimes it's frustrating to wanna help the people here, but at some point it feels like no matter how much you help, it doesn't really make a difference if they're not ready to change how they live or what their mindset is or just change their attitude about things. Like if people wanna complain all the time and <laughs> live beyond their means or whatever else, then of course things are never gonna get better. Or at least that's how it feels. And it's frustrating to want to help, but to feel like it doesn't matter. And for some reason, like, that's mildly frustrating all the time, but usually we just feel blessed that we can help and it makes us happy that we can help. But for some reason today, it was super, super frustrating, has been for like the last four hours or whatever. Ultimately, I have no idea what it's like to be born into poverty and to not really have a lot of hope that things will get better. And I know I shouldn't be trying to change other people or be basing my love towards other people on whether or not they change the way that I think they need to change. So, yeah. 
I have a lot to be happy about. Jessica and I are really blessed that we get to live here with people that we love and that love us a lot. And despite whatever else, they're really, really, really good people and they're our family. So yeah, I need to try to be more helpful and more happy and more loving. So I'm going to try to do that. Anyway, that was my day. A little bit of work, a couple of time lapses, a lot of getting frustrated, but hopefully, hopefully I won't get frustrated like that again. Anyway, see ya.